Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today is Clint Gallion, the head men's basketball coach for the Central Baptist College Mustangs. And Coach, Mustangs got the win on Saturday. It was a 66-61 victory over Missouri Baptist, and that means you advanced to the American Midwest Conference Championship game for the third consecutive year. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, Joey. Appreciate you having me on, and man, we're, we're excited for our program and the opportunity to to you know, play in this game again. It's going to be a game that you host. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. A 66-61 win, and this was a contest on Saturday in which you trailed at the half and trailed for most of the second half. Now, you, you didn't get too far behind. You were able to lock things up at 56 all near the end, and then a 10-5 run to close things out for that 66-61 win. That five-point advantage, by the way, that was the largest lead of the game for your team. It, it was a grinded out game, kind of old school, you know, type of game. Um, you know, it was one on the defensive end. Neither team could really get anything going offensively. Um, you know, when you shoot 20% from three and, you know, miss a lot of bunnies around the rim, then, man, it's credit to our guys for, for you know, holding their composure and, man, just sticking with the game plan. And, and you know, it, we prevailed at the end. You know, really at the free throw line is where I thought we won the game. Zach Hudson had 18 points, nine boards for the game. And let's talk about him and a couple other players that were really big for you in this game in particular, as Hudson had his 18. Tedrick Wolf, Kelvin Robinson, and Hudson this season, three players that are averaging in double figures for you currently. Uh, Wolf, 14.6, Robinson, 13.7, Hudson, 12.9. And those three each had at least 16 points in the win on Saturday. But, you know, Coach, I know it's more than just their offense. It's it's defense, too. Hudson's had 35 blocks this year among the tops in the NAIA. And then Wolf and Robinson with 44 and 43 steals, respectively. Yes, sir. Um, they, they've been huge. You know, they're seniors for us, and they've played in big moments, big games before. And so no game, we, we believe no game is too big for them. Um, they're all big-time players, and, you know, we always say big-time players make big-time plays when, when, you, when you need them to. Um, but, yeah, Zach's been huge down low for us. Um, you know, he's really bought into his role as of late, and, um, you know, he's leading us in rebounding. Um, obviously, you talked about, you know, block shots. He really protects the rim for us. And then, you know, we're – we're top five in the country in steals per game. You know, we let our guys get after it defensively. And, uh, you know, and, and Tedrick and Kel are, are really good defenders. Um, they kind of know when 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 to pick and choose their, their moments, and, and they make some big-time plays for us. Coach, I, I want to stay there for just a little bit longer, too, because, you know, when your top two scorers – uh, are the top two on your team in steals too. You know they've got their hands out. You know that they're ready to 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 not only put the points on the board, but find a way to get down to that other end quickly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, we 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 pressed a little bit full court a little bit more this year than in the past. And you know, we're kind of trying to take advantage. You know, most teams we play we're we're more athletic than and a little bit more talented than. So we kind of try to take advantage of that and, and let them get out in the passing lanes and and go, you know, go play to their advantage. So <laughs> we're speaking with Clint Gallion, who is the head men's basketball coach for the Central Baptist College Mustangs. And I want to take this opportunity to encourage you, please subscribe to the channel to Midwest Sports Net. That would be a big help for us. Coach, 18 and six on the season. And that then means you're winning three out of every four games. But it, it hasn't been a season where you've been able to put together those long winning streaks, four game winning streaks three times. Now I realize in there there were a couple of D1 exhibition games as well. But still, uh, you know, a season like this has its ups and downs. Uh, most of the coaches I've spoken with this year talk about navigating. COVID protocols, which I'm sure uh, is a challenge in and of itself. But talk about the the challenges that this season has provided for you in year three in Conway. It's been it's been a year for sure. I mean, with COVID, I mean you can't you know can't, can't harp on that enough. Um, just the challenges, day to day challenge, week week to week challenge of hey, are we going to play this week or are we going to have somebody come down with it? Is our opposing team going to come down with it? Um, if you look in those. Uh, you know, our first two losses of the year were the top 10 teams in the country, Faulkner and Talladega. Um, you know, Faulkner neutral site, and, you know, we, it was a close game, and we lose at Talladega by two. So, uh, you know, our strength of schedule start the year was, you know, one of the best in the country. And then, you know, we had a couple of losses throughout the year um, that, you know, we we feel like we probably shouldn't have lost, but 
there's, you know, it's, that's the course of the year. You, you don't always play your best basketball. That's the beautiful thing about basketball is anybody can beat anybody at any given time. You got you got to bring it every night. And, um, you know, we have dealt with some injuries. Jordan Parker, you know, he played our first 10 games of the year. We hadn't had him since. Um, we're hoping that we might be able to uh, play limited minutes in the national tournament if we make it. Um, but he's still, you know, rehabbing and we're trying to get him get him where he could he could be productive for us. Um, and we've had some other guys down. And, um, you know, with the COVID protocols, uh, when we lost at Missouri Baptist, we had two, no, actually three games canceled prior to that. And so we were off, you know, I think 11 days before we played. So that's just a tough. Yeah. You, you lose your groove. You have to try to go find it. And, you know, offensively, we were, we were just – we looked like a team that hadn't played in 11 days. And so, man, this year has been difficult, but it's been – and we, we, we harp on, you know, four to one. I played for Coach Beard, who's at Texas Tech. Mental is the physical as four is the one. It's four times more more important to be mental tough than, than it is to be physical tough. And our guys have bought into that. And, and, and it's, it's, it takes, of course, you know, when we have a new team, we have a lot of new players. It takes time to get that, you know, developed and, and instilled into your program. I like that ratio. I hadn't heard that before, but I like that ratio. That's a, that's a that's a that's a big deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that for a little while and and let that sink in. Well, you know, the championship game is coming up. It's on Tuesday night, and you all take on Columbia College. Uh, the Cougars you all have split with over the course of the season. Each time the road team got the win, you all pulled off a double overtime victory up in Columbia. And Columbia was the number four seed, defeated top seeded Lion. And so you guys are going to be playing in Redden Fieldhouse for the championship game. I'm sure that's a, a big deal as well. But Columbia, no stranger to the championship in the American Midwest Conference, won 10 AMC titles. Of course, you all have the title from a couple of years ago as well. So this should be a pretty good matchup. Talk about the game on Tuesday night. Absolutely. Absolutely. Columbia is one of the, you know, premier programs in the NAI. Uh, coach Brock has done a great job in his, I guess this is his second year as a head coach. He's been there for a while. Um, and Columbia is a really good team. You know, that the loss at home to, for, for us still haunts us. You know, we don't lose that. We won the AMC regular season championship. Uh, and that one was the one that was in double overtime. We had multiple chances to, to close the game and we couldn't, couldn't finish. So that was a learning point for our team. Um, and then, you know, week and a half ago, if that, uh, you know, we were up in Columbia and, and played really well and, and shot the ball well and, and were able to beat them up there for the first time. You know, that's the first time CBC had ever beat Columbia at Columbia. So that just goes to show how good historically they have been. I think they've won our conference, you know, probably six out of the last, you know, nine or 10 years. So I mean, that's, that's kind of what postseason basketball is supposed to be about two good programs that are, they're going after it for the you know for a bid into the national tournament. And if Central Baptist gets a bid to the NAI tournament, it would be the fourth year in a row to do that. Of course, last year got the bid, didn't get to play uh, as uh, the tournament was shut down. So I'm sure that uh, you know the, the seniors you were talking about and more would love to have one more opportunity to get back and play in that uh, tournament one more time. Tip time set for 7 p.m. That's on Tuesday night at Redden Field House in Conway, CBC hosting Columbia College. Coach Clint Gallion, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Joey, I appreciate everything you do for us and appreciate you having me on.